What is going on my PlayStation gamers? It is I, that one dude, Shotgun60343, and we are here today to talk about sports friends. That's right, and in particular, Bari Bari Ball. Say that five times fast. Bari Bari Ball, bar, bar. Hard to say, absolutely fun to play. So Bari Bari Ball is a mix of a fighting slash sports game for two to four players. Players score by dunking the ball in the water of their opposing team's side, but you will also lose a point if you fall into the water yourself. So on the left side, we got myself and Sid Schumann versus Josh McNamore and Brian Kellison. You get to choose one of three characters, each has their own set of attacks and special techniques. Sorry, I think that's how you say your name, is a girl. She's a fast technical scorer. Joshi, the ball-headed one, is more versatile, acrobatic kind of character. And Popo, he's a heavy buff guy, is more of a brawler, and he's very, very powerful. We don't play him this time around, but you'll see him the next time around. So I am sorry. Sid is Joshi. Josh is Joshi, go figure. And Brian is sorry. So it's the same exact characters on the both left and right side. And here we go. We're about to start this game. And we're already jumping in to grab the ball. Oh, it looks like I grab it. And I'm trying to dump it into my colored water. So me and Sid are the white characters. And Brian and Josh are the green characters. And you notice the water is split up into white. And uh, excuse me, I said I said green. I meant orange. <laughs> so we're the white characters. Just trying to throw it into the white water. And vice versa. They're the orange characters. And they're dumping it into their colored water. So in a 1v1 game, it would be the first person at three points. In a team-based game, 2v2, it's the first team to five points. And that's what we're playing right now as they're trying to save it. And, oh, can they get it up? Up, oh, trying to punch it out of their hands. And it's, we're doing a really bad job of it. But me and Sid will, will, will get the hang of it pretty soon. So, oh, nice recovery. So one thing you'll notice right away is these orange, uh, excuse me, is these orbs around our characters. And that indicates how many jumps we can jump with a max of seven. So each time we jump, we lose one. And now you can jump while you're jumping. So you just keep jumping and jumping. But if you have no more orbs, then you go into a helpless state and that's when you start turning blinking red and black you don't want to be in a helpless state because basically that's what you are helpless you basically gravity is in a ticket scores and you're going straight down now in order to get your you know jump meters or orbs back up you just want to be on a solid ground just be touching the ground anywhere and that's how you collect your orbs so if one of us scores looks like we might score here uh, do we do we yes okay each score is two points and it, once again it is the first team to five now if you do fall in the water you do lose a point so uh, as I throw it into the water, are they gonna grab it? They're gonna grab it, they're not gonna grab it. Oh, skills! Oh yes, me and Sid tearing it up. We only had to score five, we won up there. We went to six just for the hell of it. <laughs> We're unstoppable. Uh, I say we give these guys another chance. Let them try to redeem themselves. So this time around, I think I'm gonna go with Popo, the big, heavy, powerful brawler. Uh, looks like Sid is gonna go with Joshi. Josh is gonna go with Joshy, go figure. And what is Brian gonna pick here? Brian's gonna go with Joshy, Popo, sorry. Uh, he can't make up his mind. What is he gonna go with? All right, here we go, we got all three characters. I'm the big guy, Josh and Sid, same guy, and Brian's gonna be sorry. I want to say I'm saying your name right. I have no idea if I am. I apologize if I'm not. <laughs> so jumping's a big thing, but of course the other thing is combat. You want to punch the heck out of the other team. If they're holding on to the ball, punch them, and the ball will go flying out of their hands. Now you don't lose anything if you punch it. You know, it's, it doesn't run off a meter. Only the jumping runs off a meter. So I throw it into the pond. Oh, but a great recovery by Brian. Brian doesn't have no more jumps. Looks like he's going to go down, and he does, but... Oh, ooh, let's go down then. Go get that. <laughs> oh, God. Josh is on the score that. No. Oh, great recovery by me. I'm trying to score it. Now, you do notice, like I said, you do lose a point if you fall into the water. However, if you have no points to lose, then you're just going to stay at zero. You only lose points if you scored. So if we score, you know, we get two points. And if we fall into the water after that, we'll lose it. So we go to two, then one, and then we can go back to zero, possibly. But if you're stuck at zero, you fall into the water. Don't worry about it. You won't lose a point. You won't go into the negatives. Um, so ball handle. You want to have the balls in your hand. Go figure. They're two up. Oh, my God. Come on, Sid. We got to step this up. We can't lose. We can't make ourselves look bad here. <laughs> so you want to hold on to the ball. But there's a call set holding on to the ball. You know, holding on to the ball is good, you think, right? However, players holding on to the ball can't attack. Your running speed, your jumping speed, and your dash distance is all reduced. This is a simple game, simple looking game, simple to play, but there's a ton and ton of depth to it. I mean, I could talk tons about it. You got dashing and rolling, fast falling, tech landing, edge guarding, and tons of ball tricks. 
There's a lot to it. It's fun. Oh my god, and we are just tearing it up on that little island down there. I forget the name of this map, but it is super fun. It has a big platform and underneath a really small one, and it gets crazy down there. All right, so I'm throwing the ball over there. Oh, great grab by Brian there. Oh, he's jumping over everybody. Just playing keep away right there. Just jumping it. None of us can get to him, and he throws it down. But I grab the ball. Looks like I'm on a... What am I going to do? I'm going underneath, going to the little island. Throwing it over there. Oh! Oh, but Josh is tearing it up down there. What a great recovery. Oh, man, we're having a brawl down there. Everybody's just, oh, punching each other. Woo! Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there goes Josh. There goes Sid. Oh, there goes everybody, apparently. Oh, my God, they scored, and we all died. Lovely. Okay, so you saw they got two points, but they also died. They died before they scored the two points. So they didn't. They started off with zero when they both died, and then the ball went in there, and oh, Looks like uh, Brian fell, but they're scoring again. Holy crap, they're beating us. Three to nothing. There's 40-ish seconds left. Let's go. Oh, great punch by Sid. Uh-oh. Let me grab that ball, but I'm hurt. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. Four to nothing, and there's 30 seconds left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, my goodness. Can we come back? Oh, my goodness. Josh, Josh is just playing down there on that little platform. Just grabbing anything that comes near it. Oh, man. Great technique. Oh, no. Get the ball. Get the ball. Come on, Sid. Let's get that ball. Get it. 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 Oh, what a great recovery. Oh, my goodness. Oh, grab it. Throw it in the water. Just go suicide. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is six. Three to two. This is five. Four. Oh, my goodness. Brian just killed himself for some apparent reason. Two. One. Oh, crap. We're going to sudden death. Okay, sudden death, how this works. First team to score wins, or if one of the opposing players dies, you win as well. So you don't want to die. You want to make sure you have a ton of jumps. You don't want to be lost. Like, uh-oh. Oh, as I punch Brian into the water, he has no jumps left. <sighs> Me and Sid, baby, winning it for the team. You got to love it. Oh, I think we're going to retire after that one. So this is Bari Bari Ball, one of the four games you get with Sports Friends. So let's take a step back. What is Sports Friends? Some of y'all might not know what it is. Let me tell you. Sports Friends is a collection of four highly addictive multiplayer games, just like the one you saw there, created by Douglas Wilson, Romero Corbetta, Bennett Foddy, and Noah Sasso. In late 2012, these four game developers started a Kickstarter to raise money to fund this project. And after successfully raising over $150,000, these guys have been hard at work fine-tuning their games and it is soon coming to the ps3 it's also just been announced that it's also coming to the ps4 right after so i'm going to be getting this game when it comes out hopefully you are this is just one of the game that that's bundled with it you also get johan sebastian joust super pole riders and hokra guys it's a great collection of games when it comes on the playstation network store i'll be getting it you should be too see y'all then